President Joe Biden urging Americans to stay vigilant of the new COVID-19 variant Omicron, but not to panic. He's pushing for all adults and eligible children to get vaccines and boosters. The president is not considering any widespread U.S. lockdown restrictions at this time. So far, about 200 cases have been confirmed across the globe and are steadily increasing. Still no confirmed cases here in the U.S. New warnings about the potential effect of the economy by Omicron. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell now says the coronavirus variant could threaten hiring and economic activity and raises uncertainty about inflation. Pfizer is expected to seek FDA authorization for its vaccine booster shot for people ages 16 and 17. Currently, only adults 18 and older are eligible for booster shots six months after being fully vaccinated. Prosecutors in Pennsylvania are asking the U.S. Supreme Court to review Bill Cosby's overturned sexual assault conviction. He was convicted in 2018 but released a couple of months later after the state Supreme Court overturned his conviction. State prosecutors announced yesterday they're appealing the court ruling. Tiger Woods says his full-time golfing days are over. That somber acknowledgement in an exclusive interview with Golf Digest coming after Woods suffered severe leg injuries in a car crash earlier this year. He said that though he won't play full-time, he sees himself playing in a few events a year, perhaps returning to the tour eventually. More Americans want to be their own boss. The Labor Department says the number of unincorporated self-employed workers has risen by half a million since the start of the pandemic. Online sales cooling off a little bit at the traditional start of the holiday shopping season, Black Friday through Cyber Monday. But experts say that's largely because retailers have been pushing deals for weeks. The FTC wants to know more about supply chain issues still plaguing the economy. It's asking for information about how companies like Procter & Gamble, Amazon and Walmart are handling them. Officials at the FTC are looking into whether snarled supply chains have led to anti-competitive behavior and higher prices. Channing Tatum tweeted that he'll be suiting up, or rather suiting down, for another installment of the Magic Mike series. It's called Magic Mike Last Dance, and it will air exclusively on HBO Max. No word yet on the release date, and that's today's 9 at 9.